What's up, y'all? Sion here again with another video. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm just out here on a bike ride. Excuse the nappy hair, helmet hair. And if y'all are considering riding a motorcycle, get a full face modular helmet. They come in handy. On this video, I just want to talk about my YouTube journey. I've noticed on Facebook recently that a lot of people are wanting to start their own YouTube channels, which is perfectly dope. I mean, that's an awesome idea. I, I really do think it's great. But also, I've noticed a lot of people feel like they don't know what they want to talk about or they're scared of what other people are going to say or just the list goes on normal stuff i just wanted to do this video just to explain about my journey and how it's been for me for the last two years all right first off what got me into youtube was my brother jt hustles if it wasn't for him i would have never even thought about youtube because i hated being on camera could not stand it just it wasn't my thing I was just petrified of the camera. And so what ends up happening is JT decides to start up another YouTube channel because he had a previous one, but this one he has now is really big. But at that time, he was just starting out like everyone else. I just so happened to meet up with him and he asked me to be in one of the videos. I said, nah, I don't wanna do it. He said, man, just try it. Do it the best way you can and I'll edit out all the bad parts. The video actually came out good. Honestly, if I would have known any better, I would have already started my YouTube channel when he put me in that video because that video did very well and I didn't have a source to send the people to. So no one knew me. They just knew me as the guy in the video. And with that video being a couple years old now, nobody's really searching for me under that video in particular. But back to the topic, um, I decided to start YouTube a little after JT took off, honestly. Like a lot of other people, you plan to get started, but then what happens is you get sidetracked. Well, what if they don't like it? What if people don't like me? Um, I'm scared to put this out. People may say something bad. And to all my people that are afraid of that, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Some people on YouTube can be mean. That's just the nature of the beast. It's That's just how it is. Um, these A lot of these people that will be mean to you, they're not active on their YouTube channels. They're just there to troll. So you're gonna deal with that. What I went through also was when I got started, I tended to overthink a lot. And Jay was like, man, it's okay, just make the video. But me overthinking, I would procrastinate. And with me procrastinating, I wouldn't make content. And so what ended up happening is, um, I start noticing Jay's channel take off. But he put in a lot of hard work on his channel and he deserved to blow up. I just want to give you all a few tips on what to look for when you get started in YouTube. One thing I just want to come off the rip, I have no particular order, but one thing I do want to say is number one, when you tell your family and friends about you doing a YouTube channel, everyone is gonna be so happy for you and it's gonna feel great. But now this is what really is going to happen. Those same people that will support you or say they're going to support you, you probably won't hear from them. You probably won't get a lot of support. Like, yeah, on the first few videos, but as you start uploading consistently, a lot of people are just gonna fall by the waistline. I've told other people too, most of your supporters are gonna be people you've never met before. They'll support you better than your family will. And I've noticed that firsthand. Also too, you're gonna deal with trolls. Like, I've been trolled. I know Jada shares stories with me of him being trolled. And that just comes with it. But the best way to deal with trolls on YouTube is to delete it. Just delete it. Don't even read it. if. You if you go into your comments and notice that someone is referring to you in a negative manner, don't even read the whole message because it's just gonna make you angry. The best thing for you to do is just stop and just delete it where no one can see it. Like, to be honest with you, that's the best thing because I had to learn that from Jay. Honestly, if it wasn't for JT, I wouldn't, I would have been quit YouTube, but to be even deeper, I would have never even started. But Jay gave me some little highlights along the way, things to kind of do and not to do. And one of the things he told me not to do is 
don't get it twisted these people are people that you'll never meet and they just want to troll you don't let them get under your skin try to develop thick skin and you do that over time some stuff may get under your skin but the best thing for you to do is just delete it i've had instances people call me out my name people call they're gonna call you whatever just stay true to you put out your content whatever it is also another thing too the niche you choose i know a lot of people dream because the way they sell youtube is like a carnival game yeah you want to get on youtube try your look at youtube you can win all this money you can get these cars these girls whatever you want the thing about youtube when i say it's like a carnival game is you kind of get to roll all these videos up with hopes that you may strike it big that you hope you may get monetized all these hopes but for some people it doesn't happen or it doesn't happen fast the reason why it may not happen is because after you post a certain amount of videos that you think were gonna be great videos and they weren't you might get discouraged and you might want to quit it happens to a lot of people some people stay in the youtube game for a long time and they get burnt out trying to make a hit video all the time it could get frustrated and for some people you do all these videos and they just don't get the responses you want and now and now you're disappointed why aren't people watching my videos and then you may quit there's so many factors that can cause people to quit youtube and then there's people out there that also actually stay the course and make it as big as they want to be and get monetized and get paid from youtube that's perfectly fine but you have to go in with a plan but also you just gotta have it now the it is what it is like if you don't have it i'm pretty sure i don't have it but if you have that it about you those are the people that's like mr beast or pewdiepie and the list goes on who can get millions of views from doing what they do they have the it now i know people like i'm going back to to get back on topic about niching depending on your niche you may your channel may grow slowly like to be honest with you my channel talks about motorcycling but it's mainly a vlog so i'll talk about what i'm really feeling at the moment but i've known some people who have channels about specific things like one guy I follow his channel has 13,000 subscribers but his channel in views overall views he has over three to four million views and the crazy thing about it his view ratio to his subscriber count doesn't add up because people are watching his videos but they're not subscribing to the channel you're gonna you you could run into that incident hopefully you won't but it's possible there's people out there that just will watch your content and will not subscribe just because it's you and that's another thing they might not like the way you look they might not like the way you talk but still just put out the content because the people that's for you they're gonna rock with you anyway and it takes time to build up your audience and for different people different audiences you be, you will be surprised at the type of people that will follow you but with different audiences for the niche you're in there may not be an audience or a big audience for it but for the people that are there treat all of them like family upload content for them also another thing about youtube is the loyalty on youtube you can't take a lot of this stuff too hard youtube is this big sea of just videos and people that you've never met now the strange thing about it is just because someone may say great video this time or cheer you on don't mean they will be there all the time and you just got to remember it sometimes people just aren't loyal which is perfectly fine i've had channels to where i've subscribed to in the past they had dope content and then they changed or they might have said something i didn't like or whatever and i just unsubscribe do they care no because they don't even know i'm there but it'll be the same way for you you may voice your opinion about a certain topic and lose subscribers it happens but the thing about it most i just want to put this out there just have fun 
um, that's the main thing when it comes to this YouTube thing. I'm thankful for everybody here. My goal is only to get a thousand. That's all I want is a thousand subscribers. I'm not trying to get big on YouTube. Honestly, I'm not a video person. I enjoy editing the videos. I don't really have any plans on going big on YouTube. I like to talk. If I can help someone, yo, that's super cool. But I did want to put this video out. This is not even covering it all. Like, there's so much to go. You got thumbnails, you got like the way you edit, the way you present yourself. So much goes into YouTube, but I just wanted to put those few things out randomly because those are a lot of the things that I've been noticing a lot of people go through with just wanting to get started with YouTube or when they get started, they may get a little afraid. Well, like I said, I was afraid, so I know how it feels. But like I said, once you do, what you do is find you a good editing program, edit all these mistakes. I'm gonna be honest. The video you're watching right now was full of edits. As I'm looking at my timer right now, I'm at almost the 20 minute mark. You're not gonna see 20 minutes worth of film because I edited this video to death because I stuttered, I lost thoughts, all kinds of stuff so hopefully it'll all make sense when i piece it together but yeah y'all i just wanted to share that just that little brief of wisdom hopefully it helps somebody so like i said enjoy the process that's the main thing if you enjoy the process then you'll just have fun all along and do it until you get tired of it and hey if you got that it factor to you you might be the next best thing well like i said i just wanted to do this video I'm about to finish riding my bike. I just pulled over for a second. And I just wanted to talk. Holla at you later. And I hope it all helped. Peace.